It was nice to see a big game from the Denver Broncos defensive lineman Draymond Jones. He has had some big flashes all season long, but it wasn't until this game that he really took over a game so to speak. Now how he did doesn't fully show in the box score with one sack, two total pressures, and one stop. However, he caused enough havoc to demand extra attention that was given to him and he still caused some problems. His run defense was excellent and saw him hold up his position and force changes by the ball carrier. Now, it wasn't perfect, but it was the cleanest this season with only two bad run defense plays. He really opened things up for the edges and linebackers to help make the big play, which gave them the tick in the box score. It was nice to see Jones really show how great he can be because the sky is the limit with his potential. Denver still needs more though, and he has more he can give them so hopefully he can build on this game over their next three games. As things stand right now, Denver may lose Shelby Harris and or Jarrell Casey, leaving a bigger role open for Jones next year. It is worth noting, in terms of his run defense, that Jones only played a total of 9 snaps against the run. So the limited number of reps there could make him see better than he was against the run with a small sample size. Despite two pressures, the impact he had as a pass rusher really shouldn't get overlooked. Normally, I don't split the grade for two aspects of a game, but with Jones, it made me curious to see how he did versus a run compared to how he did as a pass rusher. Against the run alone, on those nine snaps, he graded out with an 89.7 grade, which would land him as the second highest graded defender. As a pass rusher, he ended up with a 96.3 grade, which would be one of the highest grades given all season long. For his overall grade, Jones earned a 93.1 and MVP honors for how well he did against the Carolina Panthers. This was a big game from Jones, but he has room to be even better, and it is time to display that out there on the field. For Mile High Huddle and Sports Illustrated, I'm Eric Trickle.